hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is fanny today i'm excited to share with you the things that i did to stay healthy while i was pregnant so i'm just going forward into why we are here please make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified thank you all to my returning subscribers for your support so let me be starting with the nutritional part i make sure i maintain good hygiene while i was pregnant you have to wash your vegetable and fruits before eating them or before cooking make sure your food is well clean make sure the environment is clean everywhere is tidy so your hygiene is paramount during pregnancy because pregnant women are vulnerable so i ate a lot of fruits and vegetables one of my preferred five portions that i was making while i was pregnant was kiwi apple grapes strawberry and watermelon these were my five favorite i also ate a lot of fish you need to eat fish at least three times in a week it is very good for brain development for your little one and i add a lot of avocado in order to boost my omega-3 supplement i had carbohydrate foods that were rich in iron and foods that were healthy for the development of my little one i also incorporated this ginger tea I went for decaffeinated teas. You have to make sure you do your research before you take in any caffeine and make sure you take the right dose. I ate a lot of lean meats, eggs, vegetables, nuts. So these are some of the things that you can eat during your pregnancy. It is recommended. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is water. I made sure I drank enough water. I was drinking approximately six to eight glasses of water per day. But the recommendation for pregnant women water intake is about six to ten glasses of water or like two liters of water. The next was checking up with my midwife. I always follow all the advice that was given to me by my midwife. Some of the advices were to do my COVID vaccines, which I did earlier on my pregnancy. And there are other different vaccines that I also did, like the whooping cough vaccine, which is very essential during pregnancy. There are other vaccines that I'm not going to be listing them all now. And my midwife also asked me to see the dentist that they can check if I have a health issue relating to my teeth. So you have to go for dental checkup because it also affects the baby in one way or the other. So having a dental checkup during your pregnancy is very essential. And another thing that I also did was making sure I never self-medicated. So, so no matter how I felt, like I even had COVID, there were a couple of times that I have cold and stuff. The only medication that I ever took during my pregnancy was paracetamol. It was only once that I was given antibiotics. Self-medication is not recommended. If you're having any health issue or you're developing any fever the best thing to do is to call your midwife but you also have to follow your doctor's advice because it depends on your health condition every pregnancy is unique and not all medications are recommended for all pregnant women i also made sure i took my prenatal vitamins 
to make sure the vitamins you're taking is either recommended by your midwife or you check in with your midwife if this vitamins is okay. I was taking prenatal care and because of nausea, the size of this vitamin was a bit too big and it keeps me to be sick each time I, take, I took it. So when I talked to my midwife, she gave me the start of life, which was also good. But later on, I started breaking the pregnant care. I went back to my pregnant care because it, has, it had a lot of health benefits. And while I was pregnant, I read a lot of books. I did research. There's this book called that I was reading during my pregnancy. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube on tips of healthy pregnancy, what to eat, how to sleep. So I also did meditation. Who doesn't like to meditate? When you're pregnant, you're anxious, you'll be thinking about all sorts of things. You'll be thinking of how does, how would your baby look like? When is your baby going to come? So the best thing that I did for myself was to meditate, pray to my God. I'm a Christian. I always read my Bible. I commit my pregnancy into the hands of God. I, and this is what, this was my own way of meditation. I also make sure I'm open to my partner. If I'm feeling down, I make sure I communicate it with my partner. So you don't have to keep things to yourself during your pregnancy. You have to be open, speak up anything. If you're having mental breakdown, like there was a time I was having this mental breakdown, I spoke to my midwife and they recommended me to the mental health team and they helped me. So aside from that, the next thing that I did while I was pregnant was exercise. Okay. Back into. I watch YouTube yoga, like this stretches, pregnancy stretches, how to have a safe delivery. It reduces the time that you need to take to labor. And exercise also helps to prevent cesarean session or surgery during childbirth. You have to talk to your doctors because you sh there are some exercises that are not recommended for pregnant women. If you're somebody that you're not fond of doing exercise, you can either choose to walk, which is one of the things that I was doing. You have to listen to your body. You don't have to overdo it. If you've been walking for like one, two, three or five minutes, your body tells you stop, you have to stop because every pregnancy is unique. And I also had enough sleep as much as I could. My best sleeping position was on the left, which was one of the things that I did research on that when you sleep on your left there is good circulation of blood and these are other tips like using pillows because at times when you're sleeping at night you might realize that you're not in the same position so if you are having challenges you're pregnant and you're unable to sleep on the same position you can support yourself with these pregnancy pillows. They are very good and you can put one pillow in between your legs while you sleep. Aside from that, I also make sure I socialize with my community, friends, family, and I learned to build that self-confidence while I was pregnant. I try to build this relationship and another thing is you bonding with your baby because baby can feel your touch and they can sense your emotions when you're communicating with them. I always communicate with my baby. At a certain point the baby will start listening to sound. Bonding with your baby 
helps your baby to go with you at the same time when i was doing my antenata shopping i would tell him today we are going for shopping we are getting this we are getting that so i always communicated with my baby and that was how i built my bond with my little one okay, the next thing i did i made sure i planned my birth they asked you what type of delivery do you want to have if you have to decide where you you feel comfortable to have your baby if it is in the hospital if it is at home if it is in the pool so i made that decision that i'm going to be having my baby in the hospital and i would like my partner to to accompany me you can choose whoever you want to accompany you when you are going to give birth i also had a pregnancy app that was talking about what is happening on this week with your baby and stuff like that you can google search start for life this one was in the badger note so it will explain week by week on the development of the baby when the legs are formed all of these things it gives you full information on things to know about your pregnancy how the baby is growing it is a beautiful experience things to do and things not to do another exercise you can also do this is just an add-on you can also swim or dance but you have to be careful listen to your body stay away from alcohol and smoking i don't drink alcohol but i stay away from alcohol i also make sure i stay away from smoke because if you do not have to sit where someone is smoking even if you're not a smoker it can still affect the fetus so if you're a smoker you have to stay away from smoking if you're a non-smoker you have to stay away from a smoker so you just have to be careful with your environment thank you so much for watching this video about my pregnancy healthy tips please make sure you subscribe make sure you click on the bell notification icon like this video and share this video to your loved ones Thank you so much for watching this video. Love you.